add, I'm going to add some pattern to one of my shapes. Now I want to push down on my crayon pretty hard so that I get a lot of pigment color. Let's see what else do I want. But you also want to leave a lot of the paper white. Because now you're going to paint over it with your watercolors. Let's see. And because the water and the wax and the crayons do not mix together, the wax actually pushes the watercolor away and you can still see your patterns underneath the watercolor. This has a lot of fun uses. Crayons work fine. Oil pastels also work. Now this isn't wax, this is uh, an oil base, but again the premise is the same <clears throat> because Wax or oil and water don't mix either. So I can make my design with the oil pastels, add my color over it. And you can actually see how the oil is pushing the water away. And you see your patterns and your designs underneath. Okay. I'm going to show you what happens when you use salt. Everybody has salt at home. This is a sea salt, it doesn't really matter. Regular table salt will work just as well. But salt is a corrosive, and what it does is it, it soaks through um, and picks up the water. So, I need to have it, uh, we're gonna use a wet on wet. I'm gonna wet the area a little bit. Going to dark colors work best with the salt, blues, purples, because you want a lot of contrast. But there has to be a lot of water, not puddly water, but plenty of water in this. And it has to be wet when you do it, so you really need to plan ahead. You can't come back after your picture is dry or even semi-dry and try this because it won't work. Where is it? All right. Then what you're going to do is you're just going to sprinkle some salt on that wet area. And now you have to wait. You have to wait for the salt to do its job. So we're going to let that sit a few minutes and come back and watch it. But you can see how the little grains of salt are starting to pull the pooled water in. And they're making little patterns around each one of those. That's why I like to use sea salt because the grains are bigger. Table salt works, but the grains are much smaller. And we'll see what happens to that in a few minutes. <laughs> 